massage chairs, Twix, and electricity. Three of the most amazing inventions of all time. But today, we're gonna look at some inventions that uh, should exist everywhere. I'm assuming some of these are just in like France or freaking Germany or freaking uh, Delaware. I don't know, but they don't exist everywhere and they need to. And that's what we're looking at today. Oh my God. This this really this should be everywhere that is a true statement about this that this is a be pizza atm and i have never been more happy but now i'm super sad because where is that italy i can't tell what that language like, is the language looks like czech probably. i don't know what that is but i want that pizza and look at that let's pizza dot hr hr says when did, do they have a dot hr i'm going to the website <laughs> Dang it, website coming soon. Doesn't even exist. I, I'm heartbroken. It's a fake scam that needs to be, really yeah, be made yeah. into a reality. Yeah, this needs to be real. A staircase slide, I am in for that, but that honestly seems like it could be uh, an issue. Yeah, if you fall off that, you're dead. That's a that's a steep staircase. Like, imagine if you slide off this, like, yeah. I mean, look at this <laughs> little spot right here. That's like a 10 foot drop. Ooh. Good idea. I'd rather just take an escalator. But I think that's every kid's dream. Could you imagine that you have to walk down all these stairs and then all of a sudden you see that you could slide? It's good exercise. Yeah. Okay, this is a toilet with a sink built in. That's actually kind of smart. It's space saving. So if you live in a little tiny box, then. But what about brushing your teeth? Well, then you just like, you know, sit backwards on the toilet and brush your teeth. You could take a dump. You'd have to face the other way and brush your teeth at the same time. <laughs> you, you, you know the amount of time you would save by pooping and brushing your teeth at the same time? Are you kidding me? That's literally disgusting. But what if someone goes, what do you mean I got to face the other way? What if they think you're supposed to face that way? And they use that little top piece of the toilet as like a desk or something like that. Did I spit on you? In my mouth. Sorry. Okay. Okay. This doesn't seem like an invention, invention, extension. What? Yeah. This doesn't seem like an invention that... Is invention the right word? Why does that sound so weird? Invention. This doesn't seem like an invention that people are selling on the market, but this is a smart invention. Yeah, this would be dope to have. I think I've actually seen this for like uh, classroom trash cans. It makes sense though, because people are probably going to throw their trash away more likely if they mm -hmm. can shoot it in a bag. They're going to be Kobe Bryant, that thing from the third row in the class. These are apparently untangleable earpods. Untangleable. Untangleable. Oh, because because you like zip them up, but couldn't they still get tangled? I'm, yeah, one? you give me those those earphones and I'm tangling the crap out of them. I'm tangling the absolute crap out of them. A, chip. a chips lifter? Chips Ooh, lifter? that's actually a very genius invention. Oh. I would be all about this invention. Would you though? I mean, you gotta buy the chip lifter for $2.99 at your local Target instead of just going. But if you're an avid Pringles eater, then this is probably worth your money. Who's an avid Pringle eater? You never eat Pringles like back-to-back -back days. It's always you finish, you get it. Oh, I want these ranch Pringles. You get them and then you eat them and then you don't get them for another year. Yeah, I mean, I haven't had Pringles in a long time. Yeah. Huh? It's a hot, cold charging station. Station. <laughs> so pretty much... You, uh, you can charge your phone, and also, if you want your cup to stay cold, you can turn it that way. But if you have like a cup of coffee and you want it to stay hot, turn it to hot. But it also charges your phone. The purpose of that doesn't really seem like functional. Like, why would I want to keep my cola cold and charge my phone at the same time? Maybe. Like, I don't feel like they're correlated. Maybe you're at a Starbucks. Yeah. And they have these on the table built in. And you want to charge your phone and also keep your coffee hot or cold. Now that's an idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. I want that. I'm, I'm actually probably going to get one of those on Amazon. I mean, why, why, why not, man? Why not? Whoa. I just popped my neck. It hurts. This would actually be good for you because you take a long time to go to the bathroom. I know. What I do when I go to the bathroom, I'm, like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. It's like a 45-minute thing, and I'm not going to the bathroom for 45 minutes. I just uh, just check the interwebs, watch about three Netflix series. You could watch a whole movie right there yeah. and not have to even do anything. It's even on the ground. Just imagine watching all of Stranger Things Season 3, which we are not done yet. We only have two episodes done. But imagine watching the full season, and then you stand up after that, like, eight Eight hours. Imagine how painful that would be. Ouch. Your legs would go numb. That, more than that. All right. This is a real thing. I mean, hopefully these are all real things, but I actually have seen this and you like hold it up to a color you like and then the pen spits out that color. How? I don't know. Is it like a battery charged pen? Technology. So it's like not a normal pen. It takes batteries or something. Yeah. Like you got to charge it up. I guess. 
kind of cool, kind of cool. But why would you need that? For hundreds of years, people just used a black pen. Because maybe you really like a color and you're an artist and you want to capture the color. You should know how to do that if you're an artist. Picasso had no freaking coloring pencils, pens, changers. We were just talking yeah. about this today. Yeah, yeah. Literally, we just talked about our this. Our sweeper, you know, our sweeper, the little Dyson. I mean, you guys it's don't know the wait, sweeper. It's, it's called a vacuum, Andrew. It's a sweeper. It's a vacuum. It's a sweeper. It's a vacuum. Let us know in the comment section below if you call it a sweeper or a vacuum. Who calls I, it a sweeper? I've never, a sweeper would be like a swiffer. No, a swiffer is called a swiffer. No, okay, well, the sweeper we use is called a Dyson vacuum. Yeah, it's a vacuum. And uh, like it has a thing, a button on it, where you push the button, it sucks the cord back in. No tangles, none of it. They need to make headphones like that. Those zippable. Oh, ears. that would be a good idea. But we were just saying that that is probably the smartest invention ever existed. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to wrap the cord around. You just. Anti-drip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, that's actually really smart. It is. The little thin line. And you, I'm assuming you can un scroll the uh -huh. bottom piece and finish the rest and then dump it out that's a good idea i like it that's i true. like it a lot okay this you i know you can't relate to but no, let me tell i can you. relate to you because i've seen your brush it's like a freaking petri dish of some no i morat, clean out dude. i clean out my brush all the time but to get all the hairs out of your brush is very very hard you do not clean your brush out all the time yes, that I thing is constantly packing 38 pounds of hair on it it's I'm gonna, disgusting i'm gonna prove this i'm gonna prove this she's gonna come back and there's gonna be hair all over her freaking brush you better bring it in here right now there's hair in it but it's not loaded my brush looks like this. Here, I'll clean it out right here. Get that out of here. Yeah, oh yeah, I clean it all the time. That's more hair than I have on my entire head. I'm gonna puke. I'm literally gonna puke all over the place. Ah! Now this is my type of case right here. Why did I you know? You got a knife, you got a screwdriver. That is sick. That's a multi-tool on your phone. That's kind of an old phone That's though. Like They're a... rocking like an iPhone 4. <laughs> That's the 4. Literally, that phone is like a decade old. Hopefully they have adapted to the new generation. They have a button, an actual button you have to push. Dude, that is ridiculous. Okay, now I need to know what this does. Because this boy be looking like he's doing laundry. But does it fold the laundry? Oh wait, here we go. Here's a little article. Let me read it to you real quick this says we already have machines to wash and dry our clothes so why can't we have a folding device too the future has arrived the folding mate can fold an entire load of laundry minus socks and underwear in just four minutes four minutes i'm looking this up the folding how much mate. you think how much you think it costs i'd buy it for fifty thousand. what i found it i found it price isn't available <gasps> Two thousand dollars. That's actually not bad. If but it, you don't. But they don't. It doesn't fold socks or underwear. And honestly, in my opinion, matching socks is probably the worst part of folding clothes. I, uh, Wait, I do have a question though. Why is this boy in his kitchen? So where, where place to fold your clothes? He's that's the only power outlet he had left. Was right next to the stove. There's like a pot. Something's cooking. Yeah, he's cooking <laughs> his spaghetti and he's folding his laundry. Now that's smart. Now this might look like a car to you, babe. But guess what? It's actually a bicycle. Yes, you pedal that thing. What? It's a bike. It is a bike. Wait, you could go through the drive through in it. Technically. Is that weird that that's what I just got excited for? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, if you have trouble getting flat tires or you drive over nails a lot, get this tire because it's all rubber. There's no air in it. It's literally just rubber. That's a good idea. That's but, just... but, but how is that standing up? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I didn't make the freaking wheel. I'm sure the guy that made this is like a really smart freaking guy and he knows his stuff. So I'm not going to question it. I just want this tire. Now. Oh, the little puppy. Your dog can go on walks anytime they want want even if it's raining yeah, who's walking in the rain though you know like bro. people some people like maybe they live in an apartment and they have to take their dog outside to go that's poop. a good point that's a good point but at that point i don't know i said a point of that point i'm just saying that dog looks like he needs to take a poop now this is ingenious it is a blow-up mattress that fits perfectly in the back of your car if you got a long road trip and you don't want to get a hotel boom get the freaking blow-up car mattress too for only 358 dollars but don't pop it that would be screwed. really cool but it's like if you're on a road trip are you gonna have enough room to be blowing that thing up well yeah I mean, oh yeah like if you take all the stuff out. like that's that's taking up the whole back well i mean if you fill up the trunk then you're good well those are like what 30 maybe 20 uh of Who the knows? greatest inventions that need to exist everywhere. My personal favorite was probably the pizza ATM. That would be freaking dope if I had a pizza ATM just right there because I'd be eating pizzas every freaking day. What was your favorite, babe? My favorite was definitely the hairbrush cleaner because mm, yeah. I think that's, that's a need, you know? Yeah. A need for speed. <laughs> Boys and girls, that is gonna end this video. If you enjoyed it, slap the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ugh.
<laughs> oh my god, I think I'm gonna puke everywhere, all over you.